Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Glad you joined us today. Thanks for being here. Welcome to my background. Kids chat. Celebrate wonder. We're glad you're here. Our faith word is new this week. It's called love. And that means a closeness and connection that we feel with God and others. Love. All right, our wonder questions. What is conflict? Have you Click. ever heard that word before? Conflict, when you're upset about something and there's a problem. Yeah. Like those friends or siblings are maybe mad at each other. What is love? Sharing. We've been Sharing. talking about that. Being kind. Mm -hmm. When have you been in a conflict and how did you solve it? As a teacher, I've seen my kids get in some conflicts before, maybe over toys or swings on the playground, things like that. Yep. And we have to work on solving those conflicts. How can you show love even in a conflict? <laughs> Guess what? What? Be kind. Being kind to one another. Even when you're angry, you could always be kind. That's right. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for helping us show love in conflict. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm ready to sing. All right. Let's get ready to dance and sing.
Great job. That was fun this week, Miss Katie. Next week, we'll have a brand new song. All right. Our Bible story this week is Choosing the Seven. And it comes from Acts 6, verses 1 through 7. So, the early church grew and grew. The new Christians loved God, but the number of people who were choosing to become Christians was growing so fast that the disciples couldn't keep up. The disciples held a meeting. It is our job to tell people about Jesus, said the disciples. We can't feed the widows and the poor and still have time to teach about Jesus. We need help. Select seven believers who are wise and good. These seven people will feed the widows and help the poor. The other believers were happy the disciples chose to find some help. We would like to choose three, these seven believers, Stephen, Philip, ooh, that's a hard name, Portorius, Nicanor, Timon, Panamprius, and Nicholas, said the community. The disciples said a prayer for the seven chosen and sent them to serve others. Have you ever been chosen for a special job? How did that make you feel? Hmm. What do you think, Miss Katie? Have you been chosen for a special job? I remember as a kid at school getting picked to do a special job and getting to go take something down to the office. And as a kid, that made me feel really special. Important. I'm happy and important. Um, as an adult, I got the special job of being the kid's music director. That's the, what I was going to say. Which makes me feel so happy and so thankful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you do a great job at it, Miss Katie. We glad oh, you, we're glad you do this with us. <laughs> All righty. All right, let's watch our wonders video. Loading, loading, loading. Uh-oh. There I'm still singing that song in my head. <laughs> Hello friends, it's Carly. Let's wonder together. In today's story, the community of Jesus' followers were growing bigger. There were disciples who were different from one another, and they end up having to figure out how to be in a loving community. They all wanted to spread Jesus' love. Love is a closeness and connection that we feel with God and others. And when we let others help, we can do even bigger things together. But the community had a problem. They brought their problem to the original 12 disciples because they were the leaders of their community. The 12 disciples realized that they had too much work and they needed more leaders to help them spread God's love. They went to the community and told them to pick seven leaders. These leaders needed to be honest, respected, and chosen by the community. The community chose them, and these seven leaders helped the 12 disciples. They took some of the extra work so that the disciples could keep sharing the good news. It would have been easy for the disciples to try and do everything on their own because they were known as the leaders. Sometimes when we're leaders, we don't think that we should ask for help. We think that we have to do everything by ourselves. But when we realize that we don't have to do it all, we give other people a chance to lead and serve too. We all have a role to play and everybody can't do the same thing. Think about it. If you were on a soccer team and everybody was the goalie, you couldn't play the game. The goalie's job is to protect the goal and make sure the other team doesn't score. That's really important. But you also need other players to run and kick the soccer ball up the field. When we realize every person is important in their role, then we play our best. Our Bible story reminds us that everyone has a role to play in creating a loving community. Now, it's your turn to wonder. You know something I've learned, Miss Katie? Yeah, what's that? People like to help. 
And if you let people help, it helps them feel good. And it helps you so you don't have to do so much. And everybody's working together to spread God's love. People like to help. Now, do you think the community in this Bible story did a good job of resolving, solving their conflict? Why or why not? What do you think, Miss Katie? I think they did. I think they, they did too. They picked people that were respected and good leaders, and they were just, you know, getting more people to learn about the Lord and yeah. helping people. So, I th- I agree. Good answer, Miss Katie. All right, we have a new Bible verse this month. It is love each other like the members of your family. And that comes from Roman 12, 10a. Again, love each other like the members of your family. And you know, guys know, you all love your mom and your dad and your brothers and sisters. And that's what this Bible verse is teaching us to love everybody just the same. That's a great Bible verse. Good one to remember. So here's something you can do at home. Get a circle up, everybody gather in a circle and place your hands on the the shoulders of the people on both sides of you. Now, if you don't want to touch, you can just put it towards that person. And then you say, you are chosen, go out and show love to others. It's like giving a blessing to each other. So you touch everybody's shoulders and say, you are chosen, go out and show love to others. You know, if everybody started their morning out that way, I bet we could spread a whole bunch of love around. I think so too. Our faith word is love, which means a closeness and connection that we feel with God and others. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for creating us us all to serve your community. Amen. Miss Pat, I'm going to say that one more time because you kind of cut out a little bit. Okay. Thank you, God, for creating us all to serve your community. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want to, this is a fun thing you can do at home. Get a piece of paper, cut out a heart shape, and write with a white crayon, my directions are covered up, a secret message on your heart. It could be, I love you, God loves you, be kind to others, be a good helper, whatever message you want. And then you give it to a friend and if they color over it with a washable magic marker, your message will appear. Doesn't that sound like fun? That you is so a lot cool. of love. Wow. We're going to really make this so this Sunday in Sunday school. And don't forget, you can join us every week at church. We are having Sunday school now in person at church. And we'd love to have you come and join us. Yes, we would. All right. Remember, friends. folks. Remember. God loves you. God, God remembers you. you. And God is always God with you. you. Hope to Bye, see you. my friends. Have a good week. Bye. We'll see you again another week. Bye-bye.